piggyback? Huh? Well, I, I don't know. I think because I have summon beast and I have a wild shape, so I could turn into a horse and summon one. Oh. That could actually be really useful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I missed all that. <laughs> Oh man! Right yeah, it's good. Oh, we're at, we're on. I had my ears. I was just like, we're making the sound. Oh hey, <laughs> we're doing it live. Oh hey everybody! Welcome to another action-packed episode of Tales from Altera with the Tavern Tapes crew. Uh, sorry about missing you guys last week. We uh, had a lot going on, and just, you know, life gets in the way. Um, announcements real quick. Uh, every Sunday, we have our main campaign with the lovely Alaris to my left, right? It's kind of weird to figure out which angle I'm at. Uh, she'll be running our Andrew campaign Sundays at 7 o'clock Central Time. Uh, we also have our podcast project, Horizon Red. We're about to drop another episode, episode 10. Uh, catch up on that. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in store for you guys. A little blooper reel for the Patreon content. And if you guys check the ticker tape below, we can find our podcast website, horizonredpodcast.com, for more information. And also, guys. New episodes have... on the 1st and the 15th of every month. Yes, except when we have, again, life getting in the way. <laughs> uh, but you know what, Cody? I was thinking, I, I need a... A notebook for any upcoming campaign notes I need to make. What, what? Where can I go to get a new notebook? I just had this happen the other night, Phil. That's what? crazy. Oh my what? god! If you go to our link tree, in there is a store, and we sell notebooks for writing notes. Or if you're like me, not taking notes during sessions, but looking at the notebook anyway. It's super cool. Yeah. Get one of these. <laughs> Guys support the stream support us and support yourselves because you know you and always support, support baby's heads support baby's heads is very important especially when they can't do it themselves just wobbling around and shit uh well uh, i believe that's all the announcements anybody else have anything they want to plug cool awesome well without further ado we're gonna jump right back in for oh no the mini arc with the Tales of Altera cast. Where we last left off, the party had just dealt the final blow to Viserion, the verdant voice of Tia Strom. Uh, as they dealt the killing blow to her, the temple, the Tower of the Voice itself, began to crumble due to some type of connection it had to uh, Viserion herself. As she lay dying in her uh, death throes, the tower and stones began to crumble around and the party had to escape at all cost. Due to a quickly failed skill challenge, <laughs> the party had been discovered by another member of the Chroma Five, the leading power here in Tia Strom. They came across two individuals, uh, two dragonborn-like people of uh, white lineage, these brothers, these siblings, having uh, blocked the way of Randir and uh, the rest of the party, having made a quick decision, Randir put himself in between the two, giving everyone else a chance to escape. When a quick, very quick combat uh, situation in uh, Sue between Randir and the two brothers, Randir watched as the smaller brother... Sidus had essentially entered the spine and back of his larger brother, Terra, and the two of them coalescing into one single being, a four-armed behemoth of a dragonborn, the ivory juggernaut, Terracidus. Kicking him from the window to the street below, he landed with his other party members, 60 feet from them, cratering into the sidewalk, they see this hulking form staring them in the face, this Triceratops-like face in, uh, <laughs> staring them down, and a massive roar let loose. <laughs> Roll for initiative. 
Oh shit, we're doing that already? Oh yeah, we're jumping right into it, guys. We're jumping right out of it. I <laughs> like the window. Uh... <laughs> Falling more like <laughs> <laughs> Some of us. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and roll for Terracidus. Ooh, I'm gonna use the new dice. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. If he catches us, does he kill us? You bet Chiras he does. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I'll be I'm not mad it. about it. I'm just mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cody, you want to know what it's like to be targeted by the GM? <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift and a curse. All right. Uh, 25 to 20. 20. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, I got 20 for Rithril and Evie. 23. 23. 20 to 15. Ophelia. 18. 18. Nice. And... Need to so... 10? 10 to 5? 9? You got a 9? I got a 9. All right. There we but go. But to be fair, I got the wind knocked out of me. I'm in a... I'm in a... What did you say? Like a um, cart? Of some sort. Yeah, you landed like on a uh, on a cabbage cart. <laughs> yeah, cabbage. you hear somebody my screaming, my guy. <laughs> my dragon cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they dragon cabbages? There's the theme. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, sixty feet away from your hunter, the ivory juggernaut. The party is collecting themselves after uh, Randir had been had landed on this uh, cart. Evite, you were the first to act. Rithil, you're on deck. What are you doing? Um, I am going to... Yeah, I'm not worried about attacking him, really. I'm going to cast Entangle. Um, and I'm going to cast it so that he's, like, right on the edge behind it. So basically he'll be affected, but he'll have to go through the entirety of it. To, so to at the edge? It. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so he, uh, he needs to make a strength save. Uh, 15. Okay. He has advantage on these. Uh, he is... Oh, I took that back. He is not raging. I. Okay. I'm going to roll... I'm going to let that natural one slide. I still rolled two dice for some fucking reason. So he rolled a natural one on the strength, <laughs> on the strength save. So you watch as... large footsteps and these four goro like arms are uh swinging as they're getting ready to pick up speed as he steps down <laughs> vines these dark black tar like vines sprout from the cobblestones below and just begin to <laughs> they probably look more like underwater lake plants Ooh. like sweat slapping around him Oh, it's like that scene where like Venom is like climbing the bedpost trying to get on to yeah. fucking Toby Maguire. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He is currently restrained. Yes, he is yeah. restrained. Um, a creature. Let's see. Uh, he failed save. Creature restrained can use its action to make a strength check. It no longer a save after this will be a check against the spell save DC on a success. It frees itself. Regardless, though. Um, the area is difficult terrain, so even if he does break out of it, he will have half movement to exit the area. Okay. He is um, currently And then I'm going to look at my friends, and I'm just going to run. And I am going to use my full movement, which is, uh, because it's my first turn, 40 feet. So I'm going to run it. 40 feet. The All fuck right. out of there. All right, so Rithil, you're on deck now as V casts her spell, beckons you all to run, and begins to hurry off in uh, in a direction. What are you doing? Uh, I am going to uh, pull out my bow instead of a sword and uh, limp after Evite for 30 feet as far as I can go, because I have no useful spells in this position. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so you follow in pursuit. Following uh, after that, uh, do you want to action, hold action or anything? Mm, so, 
I'll be 90 feet away now. I don't really have anything. Well, you could dash. Yeah, fuck it. I'll dash. That doubles. <clears throat> you have plenty. Of, like, yeah, yeah, dash can double your movement. You can stealth if you wish. You can also. I don't think that'll work. I'll probably <laughs> just rip me in half. I have 13 HP. I'm going to get as far away as possible. Yeah, I'm going to dash. <laughs> He's going to pick you up with his two arms on the bottom ones. Just... <laughs> so I just briskly limp past a beat. I thought she said run. Let's run. Question, actually. So it, I'm sure it's too late to do this now. But um, for me to throw my little vial at Rithil, would that be an action or a bonus action? Um, be an action to... It, it's the same situation as you... Giving someone else a potion. Uh, screw it. Go ahead. I'll give you the bonus action to toss it to him. <clears throat> okay. So I, I you probably have no idea what it is, Rithil, but you just get tossed a little, a little vial. The vial probably looks like it's made out of black glass with like a snake carving on it, and I'll just toss it to you. Drink it. Ooh. All right. I'll. Do that next turn. Next time I act, I will do such a thing. I just grab it as I sprint past you, limping heavily. That worked. All right, Ophelia, you're up. <laughs> Randir, you're on deck after. Oh, um, actually, know. before we do that, like I have a sorry, Rith Rithil is actually on the twenty count, and this is perfect because on the twenty count. Uh, we're gonna start this. The first person to do this, uh, Ivy, you're the first one. I'll let you go ahead and roll for me a d20. Uh, 19. Oh. 19. Nothing happens. You all uh, have a moment to escape un undeterred. So, uh, back to Ophelia. What are you doing? Um, seeing that. Rithel has the potion. Um, Some sort of potion. I'm going to go ahead and cast a Guardian. What's it called? Yeah, Guardian of the Faith. Guardian of the Sand. It is... Side back, how was before him? <laughs> it's one action, range is 30 feet, components is visual, it's eight hours, and then it's a it's a deck save of 16 um, and I'm gonna put it right at the like I want it to be in with the entanglement that Avit had yep got it like and centerize it within the uh mm -hmm. the vines so yeah you call upon this divine favor uh from the celestials above to fuel your casting and you call for help from above and you watch <laughs> what does your guardian of faith look like you know does it look like I'm walker not... texas ranger <laughs> 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 it's chuck norris no no it's fucking sam from supernatural as chuck as the new walker texas ranger <laughs> Hey, what about the guy from uh, Fairy Odd Parents, Doug Dimmadome? Doug oh, Dimmadome! Doug Dimmadome! With the hat, yeah. You see this massive Stetson, just cylindrical as hell, stands poised as a lance, ready to stab at the fucking Jurassic as he comes close. He just looks at him dead in the face and says, I'm Doug Dimmadome, and you're a dead man. You come any closer, you're Dimma done for. You're Dimmit Dunn, poor son! <laughs> Amazing. So that's your action. You have a bonus and you can move still. Oh, yeah. We're sprinting. Sprinting? Sprinting. <laughs> we're going to sprint our way on out of here. Uh, Yeah, just away, following my two buddies. Okay. You have 20 feet of movement. <laughs> going to use all 20. Um, bonus action. Yeah. Bonus action. No, I'm, I'm dim and dead after that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ophelia, you cast this uh, Stetson wearing guardian of faith before us, and he nods at you and 
stances up, ready to block. <laughs> and you follow along. Randir, you're up. Okay, how far away am I now from everyone? So, you know, you landed in a cart right next to everybody, so you were all yeah. together at the beginning of this chase. So, oh, okay. you, you had, like, crawled out of the cart, and then he 60 feet away from you guys. So, you are starting at the same point your friends did. Okay, okay. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I think... Don't do that. <laughs> well, you, if you see steam coming out of my ears, just mm -hmm. call 911. Um, I'll text him. Let me worry. see. <laughs> the, yes, because you can do that, people. I didn't realize. I think uh, <laughs> Randier is going to run along. Well, how much would you say um, are, in, are any of you considered light? Mm-hmm. The frog. Probably, yeah. Okay. I guess. The frog <laughs> kobold. <laughs> well, she okay, actually with going... her armor, yeah, she's yeah. she's a little on um, like her armor is like yeah. heavier than she is. Are you saying she's fat? But no, I'm saying her armor is. Ophelia, get up. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so um, Randir is <laughs> gonna pull something out of a pouch. <gasps> Looks like little herbs. He's gonna uh, <laughs> hold them in his hand and crush them and say some words. And when he blows it out, the smoke comes back on him and he wild shapes into like a fey colored, like draft horse. Oh, nice. So okay. It's like, it's auburn, like his like dark auburn, like his beard and everything. But uh, when it like, when the light hits it at a certain angle, it looks like little flames. And then he has like green and like dark blue mane. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. So right. he's gonna motion for uh, Ophelia and whoever to jump on, and then continue forward. I'll say you can use. Um, this is a. It's an action to transform, correct? Mm -hmm. For you. It's a. I thought it was a bonus action. For circle. No, that's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's specifically if you're um, a shifter in that regard. Yeah. Um, I will say I will allow you to use your bonus action to just pick Ophelia up if you want to, like to. Oh yeah, I'm down. Because she never used hers either, so I will allow if you guys want to use both your bonus actions to interaction together. That way, she can get the hell out of there with you. Because after your turn, it's my turn. <laughs> Uh, yes. Well, he doesn't uh, have an action other than trying to break out, so. No. Run! All right. All right, yes, so we we continue forth. Got it. On Terracidus. Terracidus's. Terracidus's? There. Turn. It's going to rage as a bonus action. You watch as. Around him, the air begins to cool. And spikes jut from behind his back in these frozen wing-like formations. And he begins to struggle and struggle and will use his action, uh, raging, to break free from the vines, thus giving him advantage. It is just a strength check, not a strength save. Strength check is going to be, I rolled two 15s, so 15 plus, plus 8 is going to be 23, so, and he watches the two arms on below just shatter the rest of the uh, frozen vines as they begin to step to the Doug Dimidome. Uh, Doug, yeah. Dale yeah. Dimmerdome, there we go. <laughs> I'm Doug Dimmerdome! He stands to him. Um, well, he needs to make a dexterity save, actually. Which. Does he have. And for the record, movement. We fucked him up. Yeah, yeah so. Oh, is... and, and a horse, it goes 40 feet. That's the speed for a draft horse. So. Hell yeah. Alright, so he's going to just roll. Uh, 
Deck save. Fails the deck save. Um, wait. Advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Clutch move. D. Ah, rolled an 18. So that's going to be... Dex is where? Dex saving throw. He's not proficient, so it's just the two. It's only going to be a dirty 20 for the uh, Guardian oh, of Faith. Wait. Now, that's only half point, uh, half damage, correct? Ophelia? Ophelia? You need it. You saved it. Oh, we saved it? Dang. Yeah. Dirty 20. Are you sure? Yeah, unfortunately. No, we did we check roll. twice. Well, Fiendish entities have magic resistance, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so, the creature takes 20 radiant damage on a failed save. Okay. Or Damn. half as much damage on a successful one. Okay, so 10 points of radiant damage to him. All right. Oh, and uh, the guardian is still there. The Guardian vanishes when it has dealt a total of 60 damage. So it's got 40 damage left. Right? So no. it it does. So what happens is um, uh, Tarasidus is it's like a little kaiju battle between him and Doug Dimidome as he's just like, oh, where you going? Hey, where you going? Where you going? As he's blocking him. And then you watch as um, Tarasidus just kind of slashes through uh, Doug's form and he flickers for a moment and he just kind of passes through and he goes oh no you don't swings his stetson and cracks Tarasidus in the side of the head causing 10 points of radiant damage and then the vines begin to keep Tarasidus from uh, moving his full movement and he just turns back to uh, this guardian of faith <laughs> that's his turn he can't do anything else <laughs> dimma dimma don't nice. run off now you hear David don't forget me now <laughs> Back to the top of the round, Evite. You guys have successfully moved group-wise 30 feet or 60 feet? 30 feet. I went 60. I moved 40. You moved 40? So, okay, uh, we'll say the group has the full group's movement is 40 feet away. So you are now... So he only moved half his speed, which is insane... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that one. Yep. Um. So fifty half is twenty five. So he goes goes to the like edge of your circle uh, of the uh, entanglement, and that's where he stops. Uh. So he only went twenty five feet. So you guys are sixty five feet ahead of him now. Okay. Uh, you all hear the roar of Tarasidus an alley or so behind, or a block away from you as you all are running. You are seeing people of the city watch on, looking like, what? Curiosity and a little bit of sparking interest and fear in their eyes. Uh, you see, like, what? It's disrupting the dwellers? People are running. Is that Tarasidus? Oh, shit. The ivory sugar not run and you just hear panic beginning to pick up as people see this hulking figure roaring in the streets Evie, what are you doing um i am going to just in case i'm gonna bonus action hunters mark him how far away is that 90 feet perfect 90 foot range Damn. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I am going to use my action to dash. Okay. So run 60 feet in the direction we need to go. While I'm running, though, I'm going to, like, if I lock eyes with any passersby, um, I'm just going to yell, terrorists, terrorists have attacked the tower, and just looking as terrified as I can, and just going to be yelling that terrorists attacked the tower. Um, and I'll probably also... <laughs> Uh, the Vernon voice is dead. Just screaming that and probably fake crying. Oh, hey, but we uh, have her body with us. Do you? Yes. You oh, did. Yeah, we do. We did. No, no. Right. I we sent. I sent it down with Driftfield. Remember how that did you... land on it? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, because yeah, you I did land it. on it. You landed on the body. <laughs> Do you pull? I'll say you could put the body on the back of the horse as Ophelia's like, oh. So Ophelia, there's a dead body draped over the horse in front of you. <laughs> or behind you, I guess, if it's like the old west. Oh, is the body still in the her true form? Uh, she would have reverted to a, uh, a... Oh, wait. Technically, fiends don't leave remains. I was wrong to give her a body. So, <laughs> hmm, interesting. Can we just say we would have like grabbed some like mimet, like a jewelry? And you like, have her scepter. Proof. Okay, cool. You have her scepter. We have something to prove that she's dead. Yeah, I was just saying. I was like, shit. Fiend's bodies usually turn to ash when they die in the material plane. And I was like, shit. You have, have her... her head. You know what? You have her head. Take her fucking head and her scepter. I don't give a shit. She got both. That's perfect. That's for a V. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. The head, so... the Abishai head is visual. The true monstrous form of the verdant voice is like a hanging off of Avit's like uh, belt loop right now. Yes. Okay. And I do have a cloak, so I'm keeping that kind of tucked so it doesn't show. Um, so... But yeah, I'm. As I'm running, I'm just screaming, terrorists attack the tower, the verdant voice is dead, and just looking terrified, trying to so, cause panic. So an elven woman is screaming about terrorists who killed the <laughs> killed the verdant voice and are currently running away from <laughs> the ivory juggernaut. Roll for me. Deception with disadvantage. Can I help? <laughs> You could, I'll say you could give her the help action and she can roll flat. Okay, so with the help action, Rithel taking up the call is going to say, Oh no, they hit the second tower! Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Cody! God! Bad! Bad! I just need you to know, if I do roll poorly on this, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm going to say the DC before you roll. Wait, no, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me. Just let me roll first, okay? Okay. Oh, that is a 17. It's 18 minus 1. It's a 16 on the DC. For a commoner who's seeing a stranger screaming this out, you watch as this um, younger or uh, yeah, younger uh, dragonborn. Oh! Everyone inside your houses! Quick! Before they cause more harm! It, a few people actually spread out of the way, causing uh, you guys to have more of an open pathway. So, this round, you will not suffer any complications. Yay. Hallelujah. Sweet. All right. Hallelujah. So, after, and we'll just say that's Vivit's turn <clears throat> as she's dashing. Brithel, you're up. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, action, I'm going to drink the vial of whatever that she tossed to me what happens uh so you you get yeah. 10 hit points um but just so you know it tastes like filthy slimy lake water Ooh, good good it's very grainy with all the yeah. leaves yep. i feel like it probably almost has like a slight like necrotic burn to it for a second before it makes you feel better That'll put some hair on your chest. You feel a tadpole swim down your throat before you can spit it out. Oh, good to know. <laughs> it turns into a frog as soon as it comes. Yeah, yeah, you almost do it. You almost No. Uh, no. <laughs> cool. No frogs were harmed in the making of this potion. Uh, yeah, then I'll just well, maybe. Uh, run because I can't dash now. So I move. You can. Was that not an action to drink that potion? No, a uh, bonus action to drink oh, a potion. Cool. Yeah, then I'll dash. And also, you're a rogue, bro. <gasps> you can bonus action bonus dash. Action dash. Listen, daddy rogues here for you, baby. I got you. I'm not going to make you forget. Yeah. I'm not like you. No, I got you. So 60 more feet I run. Okay, so as of right now, the party has gone 60 feet. So getting another good chunk of way away from uh, the, the hunter. Um... Brithel's turn's done. Yep. Ophelia, you're on. And then Randir, you're on deck. A horse. I'm on a horse. 
it's my turn. Um, yes. Your movement is currently being taken uh, over, so oh, yeah. you can focus on actions and bonus actions rather than movement. Oh, oh that's right, because I'm on a horse. Mm -hmm. I'm on a horse. Uh, on a horse. How is uh, Randier looking health-wise? Looks like a horse. Oh, I am. <laughs> he does have horse hit points, actually. Oh, yeah, let me look. He's at full horse HP. <laughs> Yeah, so let's say, yeah, you have like 10 hit points. <laughs> 19. Ooh, Ooh, that's almost as many as I have now. <laughs> I was about to yeah. say, he's got like almost as much hit points in Randir form. <laughs> yes, I have tw I think I have 29 in Randir. You do? Yeah. Can she uh, heal me through the horse figure? I'll yourself. allow it. I'll allow it. I don't see why not, because, like, you're reaching down through the form of the horse and healing his his actual essence, which is damaged more than his body at the moment. <laughs> Heal my pride! I got kicked out of a window! <laughs> True. Oh, yeah, hey. I oh, thought okay. it was kind of cool, but it hurt. Listen, getting kicked out of a window will humble anybody. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Facts. Alright. Um, let's see what the dice gods have in store. Oh, 22 damn. hit points. Oh, Yo. wow. Double Yo. Your HP. Cure Fucking wounds clerics, doesn't fuck man. around, dude. So, Randy, you feel your uh, life force, like, you feel rejuvenated, and you're like, it's easy to breathe. Especially you're welcome. A horse. <laughs> you hear Actually, you're a horse. Hard. You can talk. <laughs> oh, wait. You're a druid. Well, you can talk. I'm allow it. <laughs> well, I can just be like Ed. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, why are you talking like that? <laughs> that's yeah. That's all I have to say. All right. Um. So, Randier, or sorry, Ophelia. Uh, you have a bonus or anything you want to do? Um. Thank you. I forgot about the bonuses. Thank you for the points. You're welcome. If you to cast a spell, is there anything else you can do otherwise? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, I could hold hold an action. With a spell. Hold a yeah. bonus? Yeah, I'm going to hold a bonus. Can't, I can't do that. Can I? Mm, what's the bonus? Uh, Casting spiritual weapon. Uh, You can only do it if it was... So it's like... You could do spiritual weapon as a bonus action and then use a cantrip as a secondary spell. But it does, you can't cast a first level spell or however it is and then bonus action a spell. That's that's Baldur's Gate rules. God, that'd be so much easier though. But, but on my bonus actions it says spiritual weapon. So you can only cast... If you cast a spiritual weapon first as a bonus action, you can then, as an action, use a cantrip spell. But because you used Cure Wounds as your action, you cannot then cast a spiritual weapon as a bonus. It's casting two spells. It's, it's a weird casting two spells rule uh, for 5e. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. But like with Baldur's confused. Gate, you can cast both turn uh, both actions. Um. Well, and typically you can't really hold a bonus action. Okay, well then we're gonna move on. That's it. You're fine. Okay, you're I'm... fine. You're fine. All right. I was so, saying, get it. All right. You just kick him in the sides, and Randier, you can use your action to dash if you wish, or whatever you want to do in this moment. Um. Yes. I think I'll just run more. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> All right. So the party manages to get another 60 uh, feet further. Um, I'll say in this moment, if everyone can give me a constitution saving throw, I will increase the movement by another 20 feet. Oh, man. I got to take that shit as a horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take that shit as a horse. The DC is 14. Okay. Alright. Horse is 
horses are pretty Wait, tough. Huh. Okay. Well, it's just a one. Oh, <laughs> 19. Yeah, you all steal yourselves and push onwards, and you all actually make 80 feet further. It is now Terastus' turn. As he is dealing, uh, he is not restrained, but he does need to make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Natural one. Oh, again. Get dimmer done. Get dimmer done for. Yeah. Dimmer damage. All right. Uh, how much damage? Is it 20 damage? Yes. Okay, another Radiant. 20. He says, I wasn't dim and dumb with you yet. And he <laughs> headbutts Terastus in the back of the head with another bit of radiant damage. And Terastus looks to him. And is going to. It's so at the edge of it, he's going to use his full movement to. So he goes 50 feet and is going to throw a cart at four. I'm going to roll a d4. Ooh, my new d4. Well, wouldn't three of those be the thing? Hmm? Since if they're on my back. How do we get on his back? Oh, Wait, I thought it was just a feely who got on your back. Oh, yeah, sorry. Never mind. Two, then. Two. Gotcha. Well, still, okay. All right, I'll roll d d6, then. Save a horse, <laughs> ride a reindeer. <laughs> All right, so we'll go... Uh, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if that was a better thing or a worse thing. So, Evite, you just hear a roar from behind you, and... Um, it's just, so that's going to be plus eight. Make for me a dexterity saving throw of eight. The DC oops, is going to be 18. 22. 22. Boom. Get fucked. You are, as you are running, you all look around. Uh, or you look in the direction of Avit and you watch as like a shadow begins to get darker and darker above her as a cart <laughs> lands and breaks apart, sundered into pieces of wood, explodes. Avit, you take... It's going to be... 10 points of healing. Yeah. It was a magical cart. Nine points of bludgeoning damage as the cart explodes and you uh, take some of the uh, <laughs> break my cart into pieces go fuck yourself <laughs> uh, you take half damage from the uh, cart exploding um, that's the end of Terracidus' <laughs> turn <laughs> actually you know what if he, you and take the damage and put it in Cody that Turns out that was actually the spare cabbage uh, cart, and the guy. My was other like, cabbages! <laughs> Damn it! Leave my cart alone. <laughs> we are back to the top of the round, Evie. You are kind of like <laughs> you have a couple of pieces of like uh, wood shrapnel, like like all over you, and you just gonna dust it off as you keep con uh, going on this uh, run. What do you do? Uh. I am, so I'm assuming there are still people out. Like, some have kind of, okay. It's the I'm middle going, of the day. Yeah. I'm going to kind of, like, be weaving in and out of people. And I'm going to use my last spell slot to, and this is not concentration, I am going to cast Disguise Self. Oh. Ooh. Uh, so I do still have concentration on Hunter's Mark. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, Disguise Self, I am going to look like What's the most common, like, dragonborn color? You see a multitude of different colors around. I'll say... 
you see a lot of red dragonborn mostly okay then i turn into a uh, i look like a red dragonborn um and... you kind of bump into somebody and as they go like oh i'm sorry they look up and they see themselves pretty much yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and because it can make your clothes look like different things. I'm just gonna look like I am wearing just traditional Tia Strom guard, garb. Um, and oh, guard, garb? Garb, no, 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 no. I was gonna like, say like a I said trooper? guard, I meant garb. She has <laughs> no. miniature guards taped to her. I just, I look like a peasant. I am dressed like a peasant here. Um, I'm supposed to change. Haha, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I am going to now shoot Rithel. <laughs> no uh you know, so in the face. That was my action. Um and then Ooh, okay. Um bonus action. I'm gonna go invisible for this turn. With oh. my nature's veil. This is the last time I can use it. Got it. So, in this moment, you watch, uh, for those of you paying attention, see a V just kind of, <laughs> sorry, bump into someone and <laughs> take their form and then kind of like step off to the side, look all to you <laughs> and shift from visibility. Yep. And uh, so that's not concentration either. So when that ends, I will still look like a dragonborn. Um, and then I'm just going to use my full, my 30 feet of movement to go in the direction we need to go. Okay. After she's done, Vrithil, you're up. Ophelia and Randir are acting at the same time. Cool. <laughs> um, actually... Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, you go ahead and act and then I'll do, oh wait. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's the last round there were no complications. So yeah, you'll act and then the complications will affect. Okay, um, so it's, as written, this does not work, but I have a flask of oil. Mm -hmm. If I were to splash that on the ground, would it be slippery, or does that only catch on fire? I would say you would have enough oil to... I will say, go ahead and uh, roll for me a d20 and at like you're, you're do it like you're throwing something like you're you're throwing this oil to like coat the, a mass area okay what would i add to that uh that's like your um, i'll say it will make a a what's your strength modifier uh strength probably not great that's a plus i'll five. say dex we'll do dex do dex plus your uh proficiency oh plus ooh, i'm proficient in tossing uh 27 <laughs> So in this moment, you kind of like are running, running, turn back and just you even just rip the uh, the oil from this flask and it just spreads around in a 15 uh, feet uh, radius and look back. You see his Randier hops over it easily, uh, but you see uh, someone's walking. This poor peasant just walks in right into it. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot! He was, he was carrying a torch, and now he's on fire. Yeah. Sorry, mm -hmm. right, bud. Watch for your game. Or no, even worse, he was a, a red dragonborn, and when he fell, he coughed and lit a fire. It's horrible. That's even more embarrassing. Yeah, what a loser. God. It's the same guy that Evite ran into. <laughs> he's just having a bad day. He's like, he not... oh, God! <laughs> he, he dropped the birthday cake he was taking to his child. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor yeah. guy. So then I'll just um, uh, take off. Running. So you uh, spread the oil around in that area, making <laughs> it uh, difficult terrain for 15 feet. Um, anything else you want to do as a bonus? Uh, just dash and take off. Got it. All right. So you and Avit continue on with the 60. Or wait, she's going 30, and you're all right. The we'll movement speed together. you're going. Yeah. So you not being able to see where she is, you keep <laughs> up the pace, but you're wary about what the hell is going on um actually because she went uh hidden do you want to do a bonus action hide nah or okay that's fine that's fine okay so you are keeping pace booking it just like fuck it i'm trying to get it 
distance. We're distance. If only I had darkness, um, right, guys? I used it so usefully earlier. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Ophelia Randir, what are you guys doing? Oh, shit! Complication! Sorry. Oh, my bad. I completely forgot about it. Uh, um, man. actually, on, on that note, Rithil, uh, you go ahead and roll a d20 <laughs> for me. Yeah. Ten. Right in the middle. <gasps> yes, sir! No, I don't like that. Oh, I do. All right, so um, after Rithil's go, you are all running, the four of you, or well, three of you, and Ophelia is just trying to hang on, like, oh, fuck! <laughs> She's just, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, those of you who I are... have this in my head, and it is just so cute. <laughs> She's just, <laughs> No, she, I feel like she probably has, like, ridden a bull before. She's, like, really good at it. I imagine I, that she's handling me very delicately, but firmly. Yeah. <laughs> Her spiritual weapon is a lasso. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's like a gold lasso. Like, what a woman. Um, <laughs> so, you are forced to make a sharp turn to avoid colliding with a... with. <laughs> you see in front of you more carts just no. it's like a busy like a whole like crossing of carts as they're all like doing a whole uh, uh crossing the street at this moment because you watch as like one of the signs goes from walking to stop to walking again and they're like all right let's go and these are going you all have to shit turn um i need evite brithil and randir to make a dexterity saving throw please Oh, great. DC is 10. That's a plus zero. Ooh, good thing my plus is good. Wait, unless I put my proficiency. Wait, do I add my proficiency to anything? Uh, this it is just a gives me the bonus. Are horses uh, good at dexterity saves? Of course, they're the best. Their, their dex is zero. They're probably not. I think it's constitution strength for a draft horse. I think you're right. Uh, I picked the wrong horse. Should have been an Arabian. <laughs> You should have been a camel. Camels are smarter. Uh-oh, did you roll a natural one? I rolled a natural one. Oh, shit. shit. I did not roll good enough to make up for this. I will <laughs> say, I will say, You're going in Ophelia out? can give you the help action, Yeah. but that will take her action on this turn. You want to do it? Twenty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she so she grabs my hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's no reins. She literally has to like pull you to like to, like no 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 no. So go ahead, roll again. Okay. It's an eleven. Okay. The DC is ten. <laughs> oh, I got a four. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Once again. V. <laughs> what would you guys roll? Dirty twenty. Fourteen. Okay. So you all, in this moment, the two of you bank off of the two, uh, the carts that are around, even kind of like Prince of Persia style, run off the sides and take that sharp turn. Whereas Randir's like, oh shit, horse, horse eyes go huge. And then <laughs> Ophelia just pulls on your mane, shifting your direction. And you both just barely, with that 11, cut to the right in that moment and then continue on. All right. Ophelia used her action. You still have a bonus action. We broke line of sight. You did break line of sight in this moment. So you guys cut around a corner and you hear that the oh, you, the distance is growing between you and the ivory juggernaut. And you're beginning to hear more people rather than the roars of anger. So bonus Ophelia, action. Yes. I am going to cast... Wait, my help was just an action. It wasn't a spell, right? It was not a spell. It's literally you used your action to help. So that gave okay. Randir uh, advantage on that dexterity save, which saved you guys from uh, yes. colliding yes. with something and taking damage. So I would like to cast Spiritual Weapon. There you go. Uh-huh. And what I'm going to do is like we, like we turn that corner. I'm going to turn around and notice that we're getting some distance. And then... I'm going to, it's going to look like the, well, I think I'm overthinking it now. Cause now I'm like, what if I put this there and that's just a trail 
to us. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you want to do, I, you got I this. I got you. Just, just wait until my turn. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hold this. I'm going to hold. Okay, I, yeah, you're acting both oh, at the I, same oh, time. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I meant you go ahead, but I, it'll make it a little bit easier on my turn. Yeah, as long as it doesn't oh, follow okay. your spiritual weapon, doesn't follow us, it should be fine. It doesn't, no. No. No, no, no. So, yeah, my spiritual weapon, well. I'll cast it. It's going to look like a uh, knee. With... <laughs> <laughs> but with this but with the short sword instead this time i don't have one but <laughs> i thought she had something else last time i fought her <laughs> she had a blow gun and a short bow. <laughs> yeah so, so yeah she's gonna have that so it's gonna look like me um and it's gonna sit there and if it sees the thing that's chasing us i'm scared to try to pronounce it it Tarasidus? will attack yeah terracidus it'll attack like terracidus it's grass terra and Cytus. Terracitus. 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 Yeah. Huh? Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Exactly. Tyrannosaurus. Yes. <laughs> so, after you go, uh, Randir, what are you doing on your turn? Okay. Here we go. And, um, all right. So, first, it, I would like to bonus action drop wild shape. Can I make a roll to do a bumblebee style dismount with Ophelia? <laughs> like roll out of it, but also keep her from hitting the ground. <laughs> Why not just a piggyback ride? <laughs> oh, that's actually funny. Like Yoda. No, that, no that's perfect. It's gonna be Yoda. Perfect. On back. So as he is. <laughs> And I'll say, I'm not going to make you waste your bonus action. You're ending a form. You just end it. It's it's like you're ending a spell effect. Just end it. I'm not going to make you waste oh, that bonus just action. Just end it. Just end it, bro. Just end it. Because you're losing the extra hit points and the abilities of that creature. I don't see why I have to force you to use a bonus action to end anything. You're the so DM. You, you just... don't have to do anything. That's fair. <laughs> I'm not... yeah, I, don't, I don't accept your bonus action, bro. <laughs> Just end Try your spell. It. Just see what happens. If you give me that bonus action, I'll throw it back at you. Get it. Get well, it. to be fair, I don't really have anything that I can think of that I use my bonus action. But we'll see. <laughs> I mean, it's we'll just see. like, it, it, in the future reference, if you guys have a thing that requires you to bonus action drop, just drop it. I don't care. I'm not going like to let you use a bonus okay. action. You, if you drop oh, it like oh, a time. actually, just... um... Yeah, so I'm going to do that. She's on my back, and I'm going to uh, run next to Brithil, and I'm going to smack him on the back, and when I do that, <clears throat> I'm going to say, everyone stay close. And then I'm going to do invisibility at a fourth level uh, so that, that I can get Ophelia myself and Brithil. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> that's, so, that's why I was telling you to wait because, oof. like, or wait because I, it'll be okay. And then it's going to immediately become uninvisible. We're going to switch. <laughs> yep. But she's, yep. she's stealthy. She's good. So, <laughs> in this moment, uh, Randir, you are. And you leap up as a horse over, uh, over a, a, a couple of bystanders. And in that moment, as you're midair leaping, you begin to shift. Oof, and Ophelia is on your back. You bumblebee hold her just for shits and gigs. Mm -hmm. Shift her back onto your back like a piggyback. And then <laughs> you smack Vrithil on his shoulder. And the three of you <laughs> vanish from sight. And you keep running. All right. Oh, um, since you said that I didn't use my bonus action technically... As a bonus action, could I make a perception check uh, for anything coming up that would yeah. maybe, like, give us an advantage if an obstacle came? Uh, give me a that. DC 18 perception. Like an old lady crossing okay. the street very slowly. Watch out for the old lady! <laughs> exactly. Okay, that is going to be a 23. 23. You see ahead of you... Uh, an old lady crossing the street. You guys will have advantage on your next complication. Take her out. Give you ten points. 
Hit her. Ten points to Gryffindor. Oh, I'm charging her. Like that's. Uh... <laughs> Except now, instead of a horse, you're just like barreling through. Yeah. <laughs> I switch Ophelia to the front so she takes the brunt of the force. Yeah. <laughs> She's got her armor on. You're like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Watch out, Grandma. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys have ran. So you did another thirty feet on that round for well thirty. I'll say thirty to forty feet that round. Uh, Terracidus is free of that. Uses his fifty. And hits so you guys oil. begin. You, oh, actually, wait. He has to make a dexterity save too. That's comp. He just makes it with a ten. Uh, you watch as uh, you. <clears throat> You see as he's like rat like jumps and grabs a hold of the side of one of the buildings and just like staring out with his uh, two uh shining yellow eyes. Where are you? And is searching for the you guys. Make I'm going to up. use his action fuck. Action does not see you in this moment. Oh, disadvantage even because you guys are all invisible. I rolled a three. Would he but see my spiritual weapon? He does see the spiritual weapon instead. So he looks at that and is beginning to <laughs> make his direction towards the spiritual weapon and not in the direction of you guys. So you guys in the fourth round are losing the iron, sorry, the ivory juggernaut to the crowds and the confusion. On this fourth round, you could potentially end the chase. Now, what is it at the top of the round, Evite? You come back into your dragonborn form as you are still in mid-stride. Um, how close are we to where we're going? Make a perception check. Well, I'll say survival, uh, pers that perception, or survival. Uh, they are both the same for me. Um, okay, that is going to be 17. 17. Recalling the layout of the city in your head, you guys are going roughly the direct path, if not a little bit adjacent to what you guys did. Or what they did, because you were going to... Anyway. Um, you get the sense that you are getting close to one of the hideouts, if not the hideout. Uh, with Rithil uh, nearby, he's able to tell you of uh, potential areas that you guys could hide in after his time with the Divergency and trading information. So, as the moment, you are still, still looking for your hideaway, but you are closer. Yeah. Is there anything else you wish to do in this moment? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, um, I wasn't trying to do that as my action. I know, because I was like, as far as like, you don't see, you don't see the safe house okay. anywhere. Okay, but I know where we're going. That's what yes. I was getting at. Yeah, okay. you're, you're recalling like, from your time wandering the city, you have a general layout of where to go, but you don't know where this place is. Oh, wait, if I did a uh, check to recall information of, like, layouts, I think I get advantage because of my background. Or I think that's what you had decided about that. For Which one's whispers that? whispers creepily. We're close. So I get... Where is it? It's because of my background description. There we go. Uh, you have excellent memory for maps and geography, and you can always recall the general layout of terrain, settlements, and other features around you. That's the advent. That's what the advantage was for. So go ahead and roll and see if you can. <laughs> Fucking. Nerd. That is better. That is sixteen plus seven. So twenty-three. You yeah. know that the way you are nearing, it's going to be a lot more populated. You guys already got an advantage. I'm taking away the complication altogether with that. Fuck yeah, Granny, so get out of here, Mal. So you actually find <laughs> another alley to buy to cut down. You're like, wait, 
not this way. If we keep going straight, he's going to follow. We need to cut down another alley to make it more confusing. Make oh, our make our uh, directions more uh, hectic and random. So okay. you, with that in mind, still going the direction you need to go, manage to break off another serpent, a serpentine uh, okay. maneuver. Then I'll just kind of whisper to whichever one of my friends is closest to me. Be right there. He's right on your then, ass. Then, yeah, I'm going to say... Um, Dude, too know, close. Oh. I'm going to say, <laughs> I know where we're going, but I think we should take a uh, slightly <laughs> odd route there. Um, and, yeah, you take a scenic route. Um, and I am going to... Can I try to, like stealth blend into the crowd like you know whenever you're like everyone's running and like you just blend in with them that's what i want to try to do you're assassin's the creeding you're creed. literally yeah. doing the move yeah yeah so yeah go ahead fun. i'll say it's stealth just do stealth in order to uh or yeah. if you're okay. if you're feeling ballsy deception or performance yeah my deception is negative one my stealth is plus 11 and i have advantage so we're gonna do that uh, hallelujah for advantage, because uh, that was a natural one, and then a 17 plus 11, so 28. So 28, you having blended your form to look like a everyday citizen of Tia Strom, step into the crowd. Your friends see you, are following your move, so you, instead of going down this path, you cut through a residential area that's thick of... Uh, lower middle class kind of feel to this area you uh, there's people. a you the pores as you bump into uh people who are working oh sorry oh sorry oh shit the hell um and but... i am just matching the speed that everybody else in this area is walking i'm walking it's like new york city this is, this is like a fast pace like everyone here is like moving at a steady yeah. like not hurry, but like they're power walking. Got to get to work. I got to get to work. This is the bustling city. A um, big city. Right. A big city. Make it, where we make it here. It's the big time. <laughs> Rithil, you're um, on. Oh, sorry. What else, is there anything else you were able to do? Well, I all I've done is move. Um, well, you did action hide. Oh, it was hiding? Full stealth. Uh, fair enough. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I'll just go my full movement speed. Okay. Um, bonus action or? Uh, I have no spell slots. Got it. All right. So, uh, continuing on, keeping pace and also kind of keeping a, a low profile in this area, your three invisible friends are following your direction. Vrithil, you are up. What is it you want to try to do in this moment? Or what's in your mind? So we cut down like another alley, right? Yeah. Is there an alley like across from us going in the opposite direction? So straight line, cut down another alley. Oh, sorry. Cut down another alley. You guys keep going. It does like have another like uh, cross intersection if you guys continue this way. Okay. Where the cross intersection is at in the direction, one of the, like if we keep going straight, on one of the turns as we go past i want to splash more oil as if we went that way and i was trying to cover behind us make a deception or survival deception it is it's a dirty 20 <laughs> it's a little boat you manage to uh make another uh trail off in a, on the, uh, a different direction uh masking your movements through here which is good because you are invisible but it could possibly be leaving tracks in certain areas um all right um you want <laughs> you want to use your bonus action to dash not the oil um not the way oil yeah i'll bump up our general group movement speed with a dash action but a dash bonus action yeah all right so ophelia and randir uh as you guys are invisible uh do you guys want to do anything this moment or just keep the pace 
is Ophelia. 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 Oh, Ophelia, riding on the horse and running away. Um, I don't have anything. I don't believe. Oh, um, can I? Well, no, I wouldn't be able to do that with her on my back anyway. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I guess. Well, I'm. Yeah, I'm just running. So I'll take uh, my movement and then uh, dash as well. Got it. All right. Uh, Ophelia, you want to do anything? Ophelia's in the little cowboy's room right now, so no. Got it. <laughs> we will say. I'm gonna roll a d20. This is gonna. <laughs> This is going to see how long it takes for him to destroy the spiritual weapon. Probably not very long. You guys don't hear the ivory juggernaut pursuing you in this moment. Get lost, loser. Eat it. <laughs> um, there she is. Uh, so, uh, Ophelia... You guys are invisible. Randir is carrying you on his back, and you are getting further and further away from the Ivory Juggernaut. And at this moment, it sounds like you have probably gotten away. But is there anything you want to try to do in this moment? Or do you want to just keep barreling through? Um, I think I'm going to jump off of Randir's back. Like a little mm -hmm. wily froggy? Yeah, Wang. like a little froggy. Boing! Um, and then I'll run beside a uh, reindeer and he'll just, I know that we're invisible, so he can't see me. So he'll just hear me say, <clears throat> you owe me flowers for getting to manhandle me without catching any heat. And then I'll, I'll, I'll cast produce flame <gasps> and <laughs> I'm not going to hit him or anything, but he'll just see like a little bit of fire kind of like, I... it's like in front of him or near him. So okay. Like, Inconspicuous. As you do that, your form will fall, and you will no longer oh, never be invisible. Mind, then. I was about to say, like, <laughs> never mind, then. Hey, bud, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Keep, keep your hooves off me. Yeah, and then she'll send a message. She'll send a message to your special weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, telepathically. Yeah, telepathically. Whenever the uh, shoot. Tesseract. Uh... Sure. The tesseract. <laughs> the ter the what tesseract. is it? The tesseract. <laughs> the tesseract stone. Uh... Oh, whenever the tesseract gets into earshot, the uh, the duplicate of me will say, uh, "Well, you're late to suffer," and then <laughs> right before Ophelia. you like attacks. So it's actually in this moment yeah. when you shift your consciousness to your spiritual weapon to sass it up a little bit oh, mm -hmm. when you look at you look up the ivory juggernaut standing above your spiritual weapon i may have lost your scent now but i'll find it again he picks it up with one of the lower arms and you or feel yourself being like raised up face to face with this hulking triceratops looking dragonborn creature. Good luck. I like the hunt. I love the truth. And you watch as the two other hands come around and crush your uh, spiritual weapon as it dissipates <laughs> and your consciousness comes back to your form. I don't think dinosaurs send flowers. <laughs> they do in Land of Before <laughs> Time. Ducky! Yes, yeah, so she keeps. Got it. As we come upon the fifth round of the chase you all have successfully dodged the ivory juggernaut's pursuits uh in this moment i will allow all of you to do perception checks in order to locate the hideout do i get it with advantage because of the 
the thing. Yeah. 23. DC is 18. Oh, that's a natural 20 plus 9. Oh, I also got a natural 20 plus 3. So Jesus. Hey. We know exactly where we're going. <laughs> Cody, give him a high Cody, five. Cody. Oh, sorry. Wrong. For the love of God. Here, wait. Oh, there's yeah, a giant yeah, space yeah. in between yeah. you guys. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh, someone's getting jealous. So, so, uh, Brithil and I skip holding hands straight to where we go. Yeah. While we're invisible. Invisible. So, <laughs> you all come around the corner in this residential district, and as you splash the oil in that one area of Brithil, you all continue onwards, and you manage to see that familiar symbol of the dragon's face with the three claws down the front of the divergency you note the safe house check your surrounding area and you all enter inside can I as we enter make some sort of check to make sure we don't leave any tracks yeah uh, survival or deception deception again 18 Okay. You manage to uh, <laughs> get, get like a little bush uh, branch. Go <laughs> till <laughs> I your tracks behind you. You manage to successfully uh, cover your tracks. You enter inside the tavern. You see it's dimly lit within, and there are a few patrons inside. Behind the bar is a red dragonborn, older in years. Um, the scales have begun to gray to show some age uh, to his form. Uh, he's got like a, a rounded top head with some, uh, they almost look like spirits. Spikes almost, but like tendril spikes that kind of like come out like quills that come from the uh, back of his head that kind of form almost like a hair-like uh, texture uh, that flows behind him. And the same thing in the front of his uh, face where his chin is pointed it has those quills as well. Uh, bushy, quilled eyebrows, hot belly with a deep red robe as he's stands there with a thing of tea. You must have been the ones I was waiting for. <sighs> Come with me. And you see this pot-bellied old dragonborn uh, begins to step over towards you waddling in an old age he's got this like cane he's like you see he's got like a little bit of muscle uh to his arms uh as well as like uh, a tail that kind of just like drags behind him uh he's like ah i'm getting too old for this kind of work um just a moment and he walks over towards one of the back doors right behind his uh counter By the Draco's light, we find the way. <sighs> I hold shows. A nod. <laughs> Scan complete. <laughs> Opens. Leading downwards into a cellar. Follow me. And the old man goes down. He leads you to a safe house. You see that there are <laughs> what looks to be like makeshift barracks, uh, some beds, a kitchenette of sorts. 
This was used back in the day for the original insurgency. It has been not found for quite some time. This is one of our last unknown hideouts here in the city. Make yourselves at home. Is there anything I may assist you with before you, uh, before I leave you? Uh, do you offer therapy? <laughs> Sometimes. Well, if you're ever in the market, I'll meet you there. Cause... Have you all ever been there? No, I don't need anything from you. <laughs> Can I it... do an insight check on this guy? Sure, make an insight check. If anybody wishes to. Yeah, I'm feeling not very trustworthy right now. I'll trust him. Or Natural 20 for a total say. of 31. <laughs> Another he's natural hard, twenty. He's hard to read. Nice. I swear it. I swear it. I wish I could. Well, actually, I might be able to take a picture on the, on my iPad. Mm. You have seen my hands. I have not touched anything. Septophilia, apparently. Whoa. Ooh. All right. Something about bumblebees and piggybacks. Something about piggybacks and bumbles. Is this the bird and the bumblebees? Is that what they were talking about? <laughs> yes. Sam um, Witwicky. I've been trying to remember his last name this whole time. Ever since <laughs> Witwicky. <laughs> <laughs> um, those of you who uh, fritted, I'll get to that in a moment. But, uh, those of you who got a, a 16 and above, read a, a genuine... Uh, I kind of feel from this uh, man a uh, trustworthy kind of atmosphere flows from him uh, or atmosphere? aura I guess uh, comes off of him he seems like somebody you could rely on the natural 20s and the 30 insight 31 31 insight 400 you feel that this person is very much dedicated to this cause, whatever it may be, but has absolutely lost. You don't know what or how much, but they, this person, this older man, this older dragonborn, has known very great, great loss within the past year, you sense. Then... Just, I, oh, go ahead. I was just saying, he just looks to you in this moment before he goes up the stairs and just says, what you are doing is very honorable. I only hope that the city sees your efforts as the true guiding grace that it is and not acts of terrorism as they will be set as. I wonder why they'd think that we were terrorists. Like somebody's yelling. Um, you did destroy can... the Tower of the Voice. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Um, <laughs> As he's like going to leave I want to kind of like catch him like by his forearm. That was what hmm. I was um, gonna do. <laughs> um, And I'm just going, I'm gonna drop the disguise self. Um, But I'm just gonna look at him and I'm gonna say I'm no stranger to loss but maybe this will help and I will move my cloak aside and I will hold up Viserion's head and in draconic okay. and I'm gonna it up. oh wait huh? go, go ahead go ahead I'll, I'll do that. I was gonna say as I hold it up I'm gonna say um I don't think she'll be hurting people anymore Yeah. You guys say something? It's sure. Oh, yeah, in Draconic Brithel will say uh, the voice has been silenced. You show him the head and you say that in Draconic. He just looks at it, takes a moment. His old eyes just 
have to take a few seconds to register. My cataracts. It's my glaucoma. <laughs> Speaking of, Randir's rolling a joint. Yeah, Randir's got something for that. If you need it. He's like, I need to fucking hold on. You all talk. <laughs> well, it seems that you have dealt a great blow to the theocracy this day. Expect drinks at your door within the hour. Thank, Thank you. you. My name is Loten. If there is anything you need of me, surely only ask. May the Draco's light guide your way. And he begins to... And also with up you. the stairs. May the false be with you, Luke. <laughs> His Obi-Wan Uncle Iroh ass goes up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> and you all left in this basement cellar to your own devices. Uh, quick question for anybody that takes notes. What's the name of the main guy that we were that we met with that brought us all together? I think it was like Lotus. Or, uh... I thought it was Luton. <laughs> That's why it, I was, is, it, was. it was. It was. It was. It was. And the guy you spoke okay. to, the guy you spoke to, uh, said his name was Luton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We found it. Can I roll a think check? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> a think check. Um, V, you grabbed his arm. Yeah. You felt something different. Like, <laughs> you note that the Dragonborns, like, got a muscular build and everything, but, like, you gripped his arm, and it seemed a little more slender. Like, it... Like, there was a disguise of some sort? Like, a magic you, disguise? You, yeah, it, you, you got the sense that there was the form was not true. He was photoshopped? He was photoshopped. Kim Kardashian's <laughs> Um, But I got this sense with my 31 insight that he's trustworthy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, he's lying, but he is trustworthy. <laughs> can I quietly go after him? I'll stealth if I have to. Sure, make a stealth check. I'm wasn't what else was going like in this moment. Trident straight at the dude's face. <laughs> Uh, not again. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Twenty-seven. You begin to follow up the stairs quietly, as your companions Take are behind you. They're chilling the fuck out. You return upstairs to find a now emptied bar. And sitting at one of these tables with the cane resting against the chair, one of the nearby chairs, you just see this person posing as Lu Ten, holding a goblet, swishing it around. Arrow drawn. Not shooting, but it's aimed. I'm going to need the truth this time. And I do say that quietly so as not to alert my friends or anybody else. It holds Ophelia a goblet. Is still... Oh, it's okay. What's Ophelia? Oh, I was just going to say Ophelia is not going to even notice that because she's going to be distracted trying to take the joint out of uh Randy's hand because she, she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna say I'm at the green flowers <laughs> wrong um, flower question would this be how far away are they so the going downstairs it's like a whole like 10 feet below and everything so oh like, yeah okay yeah yeah it's like an average seller would be pretty much no, that's cool. I was really just going to see if passive perception would be a, ca a factor, but it's not. So well, she rolled pretty high on her stealth to avoid. No, being yeah, no. Randir oh, yeah. is just 
get an affiliate like, okay, you get your turn in a second. Calm down. <laughs> stop, stop. Wait. It's called puff puff yeah, pass. I haven't got my second. Not pass, pass pop off. <laughs> you have um, to learn the ways. So at this table, Ivy, you have your bow drawn as this individual looks to this goblet, looks to you, and sets it down. Well, all right then. I suppose it doesn't hurt at this point. Removes a ring, a familiar looking ring to the one that Adval wore once upon a time. Sets it down. Hello, girl. Don't call me girl. I had to come. Wait, you, who? you see before you, in his familiar form, to you, the older visage and weakened of late of Professor. Oh, shit. The second I see him, then bow arrow to the floor. Shoot him in the face. He, he getting almost tackled. Oh. <laughs> oh. Easy. My child, easy. Uh, how have you been? How have things felt? I mean, obviously, I saw what happened. I, I'm sorry. I'm a bit in shock. Uh, well, l l let's see. Um, I think my brother has been experimented on. I think he's in some sort of hellish workshop. Um, I forget the other character's name. Who? Um. The Ivory Juggernaut? No. Viserion? No. no, um. Oh, you mean Kabalion? No. Vrithel. Huh? He was in the campaign. Oh, uh. Oh, you mean Shithead's character? Oh, uh. Wow, uh, Belmont. Yeah. Belmont. Yeah, so I'll add that. Oh, God, that took me a yeah, second. Uh, I didn't realize who you were referencing. Yeah, so I don't know how to get my brother out of there. Belmont is a lost cause. There's no coming back from whatever the fuck he is. And you, and at this point, she's probably trying not to tear up. What? What do I do? How do I help? Uh, well, I've been working on that for quite some time. I figured out what he has been doing. You see, um, as each day Brand goes... Randir! Oh, sh it's, it's, don't yell. <laughs> no, I, I shout for Randir. There's, there's patrons upstairs! There's still a bot. This is still a tavern! Fine, I walk over down and shut down. Everyone has to leave. Sorry, you gotta go. Uh, I, yeah, I will. I will. If it's if it sounds if it's just Randier, I'll run there. Yeah. Up the stairs, you have the heavy footprints, <laughs> the heavy footsteps of Randier coming up. We were all just in the basement like that '70s show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just panning back between Heading three of you. Down. <laughs> uh, hello, my boy. You all look pretty <laughs> worse for wear. What are you talking about? I feel great. Well, now that I have the two of you, um, I might as well get the other two as well. Uh, I know you are working with two other companions. I was informed with uh, Mr. Lutan. You see Ophelia step out from behind Randir. Oh, hello. Um, you see for the first time, Ophelia, a older elven man or half elven elven descent you see um he has these like scales these draconic like scales uh on his face uh which they look to have once been of a vibrant bluish coloration but similarly to that false form he had uh, worn before the graying scales have remained 
if not more so. You see that this figure, um, looking at you, uh, older in years, um, uh, possibly even for like an elven descent, this person looks to be nearing the end of their life. Um, long, stringy, grayish silver hair draped over these bluish robes. You see he gestures toward you all with these like very strained hands. Uh, hello, little one. My name is Alexander Fordrag, professor of arcane arts. Uh, well, it's just splendid to meet you. How did, so where did you come from? How do you know these two? It's nice. Where'd you come from? I, We're family. We're close to it. I am the Professor oh. X to these X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the... What is that? Don't worry about it. It's a show <laughs> I used to watch. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, we, there is a fourth one of you. I want to try to sneak up on him while they're, while they're distracting him. He might have a heart attack, but okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a 17 stealth. On a very bad roll, so he's probably going to catch me. <laughs> oh shit! He's like, and uh, is this your fourth one appearing in the shadows? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I rolled a 17. <laughs> I'll motion to Frithel. We seem to have a somewhat similar affliction. Yes. Somewhat. The hell was that for? <laughs> that was weird. And I know weird. Look at me. <laughs> I'm 30. Look at me. Anyway. Uh, Frithel will pull back <laughs> his sleeve and you'll see like a like runes uh, on his arm. I have no idea what that says. It says fuck you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like him. He's a good one. Cool oh. story, bro. Tell it again. <laughs> Tell it again, friend. Um, uh, I see that your efforts are not in vain. Your success of the assassination of the voice. Congratulations. You are now the most wanted people in the city. Wait a second. So did you mm. kill Lieutenant? Or... No, no. Lieutenant and I are old friends. He remains at the actual main place. I we was... just... We just saw him. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> did. Yes, you did. And he kind of just like fumbles a ring on his hand. Anyway, I have come here to give you a way home potentially I can pull you out now we can leave this place or we could try to get Fox out of here Who the fuck's that? that's not even a question and I'll look at them. That's my twin brother. I was able to scry on him, which I have not been able to do so. So here is a warning, my child. He is within the very confines of the place I was made. He... It would be a trap to lure you or me or both. With the assassination of the voice, they are getting desperate. They will act. They will try to draw us in. That being said, I would love a chance to kick his ass. I don't think you're kicking really? anybody's ass anytime. I could tussle. Look, come on. <laughs> he just rolls up these long ass Merlin sleeves, these bony ass arms with the old man flabby skin. He's like, I believe come on. You. I believe uh, you. Uh, hold him up. Hold him up. would walk up and pat him, like pat him hard on the back, like not, not <laughs> intentionally hard, but just like, 
You're not even thinking about it and be like, well, I'm not against trying to get the, uh, the old prof over here an op opportunity for it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll say to Brithil, he is much more formidable than you might think. <laughs> um, but I feel like as he was like saying all this about her brother, she'd been like teary eyed and then just kind of got this like look of resolve. I'm not leaving without him. And then I'll look at everybody else. I wouldn't ask any of you to to help with this. It's you have my act. Okay, uh, try that. Oh, that okay, was. So need your trident too, if you're going yeah. to help. Okay, fine. But I'm not leaving without my brother. It's fair. Which is why I came prepared. Here. And he places a case in front of you. I made these. Started to make these a while back. They will help you on your way. Be careful. He is much more dangerous than I or any of the others. Or Naxus may lead the five. But he is the most clever of the five. Cobalion. Either he falls too. Or we save your brother and strike another blow against the Tiestron theocracy. If we kill him, will that help you? You've said before he's stealing your life. Not much to steal, it looks like. I... <laughs> I do not know what I am fueling, but I am fueling some work of his, some spell, something. Every day I feel my life force being drained away. But I will last as long as it need, I need to, to see this fight to its end. That being said, I wouldn't mind, you know, him getting his ass handed to him. Oh, he won't survive this. <laughs> One of us dies today, no? But tomorrow. So please, tomorrow. I need to sleep. I am not dying. Listen. <laughs> it won't be you. I'm alive today. Dying tomorrow. Next day he shows up. Oh, man, the professor. So sad he's gone. He walks by. <laughs> What the hell? I thought you were going to die tomorrow. It is today. <laughs> tomorrow never. It's not tomorrow. <laughs> he slides over the case, and you hear the faint clinking of crystal vials. You open it to find four chunky supreme healing potions. Ooh. Nice. Hand one to all of us. Or superior, sorry, but you, you mean superior healing potion. It's the 8d4 plus 8. While you Thank are you. under <clears throat> this roof, I am using a spell of my own making to mask your presence. You are safe here. But it is a very costly spell. <laughs> Sorry, I had human earlier. He wipes a bit of blood from his mouth. Anyway. Be careful if you seek this action. And those of you joining her on this, if you wish to do so willingly. I thank you. 
I don't have much to offer, but if you make it out to if you make it out alive, I would do anything in my power to repay you. I make no promises yet. There is someone I must confer with, and he'll look at Evie. But any chance to deal a blow against the scaled tyrant, I'll probably be there. Go rest. You have had a very trying day. You have some research to look into. I think I have discovered what we need to do in order to shackle the Tyrant Queen. I'm working on it. I might need you on a fetch quest in the next coming months. <laughs> but, um... And he just kind of, like, takes his hand and that puts it on of each shoulder. I am proud of you. I will be even more proud if you stay alive. What could I be? Double dead? Don't we don't know. We don't know. We've your condition is very strange to me. Could be demi dead. <laughs> like a demi lich or yeah. Go rest. I'll have food brought to you soon. Yeah, and he kind of just like sits back in his chair and just smiles while he's drinking his little, his little wangle. <laughs> I do miss the city life. <laughs> um, and you guys can take a long rest for the night. And during this time, what would you all like to do or? figure out or plan uh as he is resting Brithil will almost be i guess meditating trying to receive a trancing even yeah receive a sign of what path he should take roll for me if you want you can make this a religion check or I would allow a wisdom saving throw. Okay, let me see. Wisdom save is minus one, so probably not going to be that. <laughs> what? I know, it's almost like I was charmed for an entire combat nearly. <laughs> Wait, what's your wisdom? Uh, probably not good. Uh, let me see. Ooh, that's bad. Um... My wisdom is a minus is one. It, you have an eight for wisdom? <laughs> uh, so I rolled a two plus one okay. for my religion. So that's a three. You are trying to focus. And Rithil, you are meditating. Trying to focus on like the white noise of the room at first and then as the white noise transitions into like a soft hiss damn tinnitus the, the hiss begins to fade but it turns into As you hear the sound of fire and burning, your eyes are closed. Open them and you see yourself surrounded by fire. You stand in the middle of a field. The grass burning on all sides. You stand in a, sin in a circle of untouched meadow. You look in all directions and you just see hell 
lightning crackling in the sky above you see gray clouds it's cold where you are hell's cold a meteor flows through the air crashing into the mountains beside you you see in the distance the mountains far far away something it's not, it looks like a something it almost looks like a fortress the size of it it's massive is that a tower the tower begins to lift as you recognize that a massive neck elongates as a head stares out towards you. Eyes shining bright. You see as two more heads raise as two others follow in suit as five heads stare in your direction. You just feel the fire is getting closer and closer. <laughs> and you hear the cackling of a woman far away or nearby. Just <laughs> this cackling fills your ears. You open your eyes and you're back in the cellar. Uh, Rithel will bolt awake feeling full of fear and he'll quickly reach into one of his pouch and pull out one of his soul trinkets for comfort and he'll just mumble to himself uh, what is life but death pending and then just lay back down and think um <clears throat> would I see him like jolt away Are you watching it? Probably. I'm watching everybody. I'm just sitting in my like bed, bedroll, whatever. My knees up to my chest, just kind of watching everybody. I'm snoring. <laughs> and as he snores, smoke comes out. <laughs> you are sweating. Like, like you note if, that Verthil is like covered in like sweat. I'll uh, just kind of move over and just sit near-ish. What was that? I tried to commune, but just got a bad dream instead. I get those too. I feel like we needed a, there's a conversation pending. <laughs> yeah. A few things we need to talk about. I told you most of my story. What's yours? Not much to it. I don't know really what you're wanting to know. Uh, small village in the forest. Hunter. Orc raid. Whole village slaughtered. Pull and show the scar I've got. Myself included. Twin brother taken captive, probably now being experimented on and or tortured. Uh, the professor found me wandering after I had waken, after I'd woken up and met and I'll motion to a snoring reindeer. That one and a couple others. Trying to get my brother back and trying to do whatever I can to help the professor. It's a, it's a pretty nasty scar. Seems like you might have needed a little help surviving that. And Brithel will pull back his cloak and show, and also a scar in his chest. Yeah, a spear to the chest isn't exactly fun. I've spoken with. The lady quite a few times since then 
actually, and I'll turn so you can see the my tattoo. Part of the tattoo was here before, but and she kind of motions to this like it looks very serpentine, like two and with like two eyes on the back. This is new. Hmm. Courtesy oh. of our lady. <laughs> I didn't come here looking for you, but I feel like that was probably her plan for us to find each other. I'm getting the feeling, the sense that I'm supposed to help you however I can. And if that means stopping what's coming, I'm here until the bringer of ends tells me otherwise. Right then. Just remember your promises, or I'll be back. The only promises I make are to my family. <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? Is it hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> Wedding. Yeah, Randir gives off so much body heat, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Cold night, just get within like a foot of him, it, you're warm. It's a furnace. You're That's his other character. I think Randir's mumbling in his sleep, I can't quite hear him. He, he, also, he, he also normally sleeps naked. Oh. He's not right now just because you all are in the room, but he's almost that way. But it's just because he's he like, he's so hot, man. He is chiseled, though. <laughs> uh, Ophelia is nestled up on a rock that's, like, adjacent to Randir so that she can, like, sunbathe oh. in the heat. <laughs> <clears throat> She's also asleep. Yeah, I don't think I had anything in particular mm -hmm. that okay, I needed to do. A patron to talk to? How lame. I don't do that shit. All right. <laughs> my my only patron is Mary Jane. I know Phil. Randy, we both know that's not true. Actually, <laughs> well, but but see, it's it's a different. It's not in, in, in normally in reverence as much as it is in cohabitation. And also knowing what kind of power he has. Um, I do want to do something actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's going to be kind of similar to what Cody did, but um, she didn't answer uh, Luton and, about helping with Fox, and she did that on purpose. She's feeling hesitant because she's like, this is not how I imagined things going. I thought I was done. Kind of wanted to get back to relaxing, but there's still more. <clears throat> so... Uh, she kind of wants to see, like, if her religion has, like, developed since, like, these events have happened. Roll for me a religion check or a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Religion. What am I looking at? Plus two. Or a wisdom. We're doing a wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> it's a plus eight. Damn. Save your wisdom. Twenty-five. Okay. <laughs> Must be nice. Roll this thing. <laughs> it is. You take a moment. And you just kind of like process all the crazy shit that went on today. You meditate on all the things that's been said, all the things that have happened that you've been introduced to and have survived. You take a moment, close your eyes. You feel the presence of someone sitting next to you on the bed that you're on. And... 
As you open your eyes, you are in a... You are in the same place you were in, but a landscape of darkness around you. Sitting next to you, in a visage of golden light, sorry, of silver white light, you see a man, an another elven man. He looks to you. Well, hello there. It's nice to meet you. Uh, hi, how are you? Um, nice to meet you too. <laughs> I'm doing all right. This must be very confusing for you. Yeah. Um, so it's, weird. it's more confusing that you know that it's confusing. I, well, because it was confusing for me the first time too. So. Okay. So I'll let you get your barons. Do you know where you are? Nope. We're in your head. In my head. In your oh, head. I don't want to be here. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You're sleeping. You're you're just dreaming. Mood. You're just dreaming. Um, but I thought I might introduce myself. My name's Killian. Killian Murphy. Fucker. Can you spell that for me? Just so that I can C C I L L I A N Killian. Killian Oppenheimer. <laughs> no. <laughs> <clears throat> Murphy. Uh Killian. Killian. Uh my friends call me Oakenhill. And uh you look down and you see that uh his feet are fine. He has no wooden foot or anything. It was a nickname growing up. Um so, you're probably wondering why I'm here. Yeah, this is my my head. <laughs> it is, and I'll, I apologize for the intrusion, but as you might be aware, there's a bunch of crazy shit going on dealing with yeah. the theocracy. Yeah, you, you're definitely yeah. aware. I've I've been kind of following <clears throat> your uh, your group here. For, oh wow! Uh, well, not not like that. I've no, I follow... think it's cool. I didn't think that you're stalking. No, definitely was not the first thing that crossed my mind. Uh, <laughs> it's cool, you know. <laughs> I'm uh, actually following that one, and the room oh, shifts, just... shifts, and you see that in your mindscape, the room now mirrors the actual cellar. You are conscious, but you see your sleeping form. And you see he's gesturing towards Veet. I've been following that one. And oh, well, him. why don't you go get in her head? Because why she... are you in mine? Because... I thought I was outstanding and I was doing such great things and you were you following are. me, but... No, I'm... I'm... <laughs> I was following her because she brought me to you. That's how this oh. works. This is how this faith things work, okay? Does she already have one? She's got a bunch of things going on there. You don't even want to know what's going on. <laughs> I digress. I'm sorry. It's fine. This <laughs> is all... You in her head because her head is scary. It's dark and scary in there. I don't <laughs> want to be in there for long. I met this fella named Paul. He's very strange. <laughs> so... This is a little bit silly, but I need you to follow me. I am... Well, let's just jump past the uh, obvious. I'm dead. I'm not alive. Technically. I am in this form, a spirit. A guiding spirit, to say the least. Kind of, imagine me as your guardian angel, here uh, to help you however you need. That's nice. Um, it is, because, Miss Ophelia, I just want this to be plain. You've got a good heart. Mm -hmm. You really do. I've... 
I've seen what you want. And I think it's a beautiful thing. And the terrain shifts again. Uh, you are now standing in a pitch black landscape. You want, and he kind of like kneels down. He he's a tall fella, and you being <laughs> uh, the cobalt size you are, he kind of like kneels down onto like one knee, kind of looks in a direction with you, and he goes, "You see." You see a wonderful dream, and he kind of waves his hand, and you see Tiastral, or another version of it. A vibrant, bright, versus the uh, the, the gray sky, black pillars, and jagged edges give way to smooth silver towers with blue windows and an openness to the world, an invitation to those who seek shelter from the harshness of the region. You see people in the streets wandering, laughing and smiling at play. And you see that Killian's face is... He has. He still has a spiritual kind of like ghostly fade to him, but in this dream, in this solidifying of your of your uh, hopes and wants, he kind of gains a slight bit of corporealness. And you see, for uh, officially, uh, shoulder length wavy black hair, uh, dark brown eyes. Uh, almost like raven-esque quality uh, to his facial features, long pointed ears. Um, he wears uh, long billowing white sleeves with a black vest over top. He has a very Ichabod Crane vibe to him. And you see that he, in this form, has a prosthesis on his left foot made of a type of wood. He looks down and he goes, Oh, that's, uh, that's a bit strange. Um, <laughs> but this is a dream that's possible, Miss yeah. Ophelia. Yeah, this is probably going to be a postcard. This is, this is really cool. And I mean, this, this is from my head. This is what you. This is what well, I I imagine this. Well, it's a version of it. Mm -hmm. It could be this. It could be something else. It's whatever you want <laughs> it to be. This is just a rough draft. Yes. It could have been an email. And, yes. <laughs> what? And <laughs> and that's and so helping the spots person. It's part of. Is a step. A stepping stone for this dream. It is. Okay, whatever you say. Well, I'd like to explain it to you first without just <laughs> jumping into it. I know... Well, I mean, I really gotta get some sleep, you know. You saw what I had to deal with yesterday. Oh, and there's more of that to deal with. Could you just... I'll... Could I just I'll... wake up with it in my head already? <laughs> I'm just I'll leave. I'm so sorry. I'll leave you with this, Miss Ophelia. The days to come are going to ask a lot of you. Your faith in your friends, yourself, and your dreams is going to be put to the test. Keep your friends close, and keep your dreams guarded. Don't let anyone take it away from you. They fuel who you are and they give power to your imagination. Or I'd say your imagination is your power at that point. Yes. I mean, the spiritual weapon is for my imagination. It's, I've seen it. It's quite hilarious. Literally, people are given the boot. <laughs> 
That was a good one. Anyways, yes. <clears throat> Serious talk. I have served a higher power for a very long time. I am no longer able to serve. But I can help you fill your dream in order to bring about what I was supposed to do in the first place. I would like to welcome you to the Sons of the Draco. But I'd like to welcome you officially as the Draco herself. There's a dragon within you, little kobold. <laughs> You'd have to go and make me blush. I'm being serious, whether you know it or not, whether you believe me or not. The Platinum King resides within you. Platinum King. Write that down, write that down, write that down. Are you telling me to write it down? What was that good? <clears throat> I'm trying to. You are a child of his. Brought into this world by his... Design's a strong word, but... <laughs> you are descended from his power. As was I. We're kind of cousins, in that fact. And he kind of, like, gestures to his, like, draconic slitted eyes. You're a special little kobold. Meant for bigger things than just... Traveling and serving goblins. What? Yeah. I definitely did... Did feel... Something... Quite... Powerful. There's not another way to dis describe... How I felt when we, uh, when we all worked together and slain that lady. You put her in her place. She kind of <laughs> deserved it too. That rhyming bat. Mm -hmm. She found the rhyming shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what? You're here for them. They're here for you. Look after them. They'll look after you. Can you, uh, hmm? can you say the, the big dude's name again? The Platinum King? Yes, that one. Thank you. He goes by many other names. Um, Father of Dragons, Father of the Metallic, Bahamut, whatever you wish. What? Well, now I can... Well, now I can say who I I follow. You follow your dream. You don't need to follow a person, a deity, or nor them. But you can look for the guidance of him, if you wish. You can always lean on him when you need to. He'll always be there for you if you want him. As will I. Going forward. I'm here to help you. I will say, before I finish, I am also helping a couple of their friends at this moment. I, being a spirit, I could be in two places once. Uh, you're gonna need what? to find. You're gonna need to find another, uh, a traveler like yourself. His name is Atlas. He's a pilgrim. Like yourself. A, uh, uh, an elf from Alastria. He'll, he can help guide you as you read the stars.
He's also a wicked cool druid. He yeah, turn... he's all right. He's got this cool thing where he can like harness the ability of the constellations and turn into one himself. It's bugger and cool. Yeah, actually, it's super cool. <laughs> but I've bothered you enough for one night, little kobold. <laughs> Get some sleep. Thank you. You've got a theocracy to take down. I sure, I sure do. I just got like. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to make a comparison to like why the chicken crossed the road, but I couldn't think of it fast enough. So we'll just move on. You're good. He gets just like, good luck. And he just kind of bops you on the head. And you just like fall even deeper into slumber. And you sleep wonderful. Is there anything else you all wish to do before the long rest is had? Right. You wake the following day in the same place you fell asleep. Unbothered, untouched, the roof is still there. And you hear eventually Arr! coming down, no longer in the disguise of Luten, but in his actual form. You see as the professor comes down carrying a tray of toast and other light breakfast things I figured I would uh, at least see you off before you went to your doom <laughs> screw manual labor and he just mage hands the tray over to a table <laughs> that's way easier go on go on I've uh, put a little extra in there for you I don't know why I'm still doing the Irish accent. Sorry, I'm switching back over to French. <laughs> <laughs> hello, welcome to our play. Hello, hello. Be our guest. Guest. Be our guest. Eat this toast and get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> Go fucking die. Um. Yes, no, uh, please. Uh, make sure to eat. It is very important to get your breakfast in the morning important meal of the day mm -hmm. thank you no I, 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 I'm serious you you should probably eat because uh, if you don't things uh, well you might not survive you being so insistent makes me not want to eat well fine it's very I'll eat it <laughs> he takes a bit of the french toast <laughs> and you actually I watch trust him with my life you watch as he bites down on the French toast, or uh, on the food itself, and as he does, you do, for a moment, watch as that, like, vitality return to him for a moment. Hmm. And go. Yeah, Randy's already done. digging in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Ophelia did not hesitate. <laughs> you guys see that this delightful spread of French toast and other delectable breakfast foods are the most amazing you have ever had as you all take part of a hero's feast. Ooh, that's definitely not ominous that you're giving us a free hero's feast. I, I would know. never I would never do that just for, you know because I'm going to put you in the middle of I can of count on one hand how many heroes feasts I've eaten. <laughs> And two of them, oh, I think, my... were in campaign too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he's talking about yeah. my campaign. <laughs> no, yeah, I was mainly talking about Altera. Mm. So, um, all right. So for the next, or so the feast takes an hour to consume. Jesus Christ! It's a lot um, of toast. It's a lot we're of fucking French sore. toast. We're achy. We're taking our time to get up from bed. It lasts for twenty-four hours. Um, you guys under the. Uh, effects of Heroes Feast are cured of all diseases and poison, become immune to poison, and immune to the frightened condition. Mm. All wisdom saving throws are made with advantage. Mm. Additionally, your hit point maximum is increased by 2d10, which I will roll now. With my two new day, the Aligami. <laughs> Ooh, you guys get an 11 additional. Uh, Hit point maximum is increased by 11 hit points. Uh, it gains the same number of hit. 
Oh, you you heal and it's raised. Yeah, okay. So you guys gain uh your max is raised by eleven for the next twenty four hours. Um and those can be healed up to uh that new maximum. Uh and these benefits last for twenty four hours. So as that happens, he kinda takes a little bit of French toast for himself. He's like You are stepping into the workshop of the architect of destruction. Be wary of everything. He is not to be tested and not to be trifled with. Get in, get your brother, get out. Any means necessary. If you can make it back to me, I can get us back to the tower. But there's one way. If we do the tower, we cannot come back. Not for a while, at least. And this place will be compromised by that point. Hey, pr Good, I Professor. I think all of us went out of here. I think, <laughs> um, just in case we need it, I still have your special gift. Keep it close, Vander. You... It worked, right? Hey, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, I... There was no side effects. Brando checks his pants. Never mind. Um, it's just, <laughs> it was the first time that's ever been done with a... Uh, <laughs> I've never made something like that before, so I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to have any adverse effects to you. Did you Not always have pink now. hair? Never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> Were you always a dwarf? Were you always uh, a gnome? <laughs> what happened to my eyes? <laughs> the professor's just always on some type of drug. <laughs> um, <laughs> at least one. Um, is there anything else? I, uh, I apologize. This is all I can really do for you in the moment. Though I did just give you super, uh, supreme meaning potions too. True. Sure. Supreme or superior? A uh, superior. Supreme. S -s -s super. So, if we go to this hellish workshop, get my brother, and try to kill him, Kobalion. If you are able to. Do not make killing him your priority. This is not an assassination mission. This is a recovery and rescue. However, and he looks to Rithil. I know of your mission here. You successfully hindered the theocracy's soul pylons. They are no longer able to access the well of souls here in the city. However, They still have other things that they can use at their dispense. The architect has a workshop where he has many different machines of war ready. Many different types of arcane formulas for whatever they have coming. Destroy, sabotage, or take anything you can. Make the biggest mess you can in that workshop. You find something, it's yours. <laughs> With my blessing, at least. I mean, hell, it's like you're stealing from me anyway. <laughs> Do you think the other insurgents would be willing to help? It we depends. Did everything they, they asked. They, yes, and they are willing to assist with your escape, but it's going to take some time to get everybody into position. We can get you in. It is the getting out aspect that you will have to do on your own, I'm afraid, my dear. You all are you, you all are going, correct? Yes. Thank you. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Protect one another and make it out of this alive. We have a war to win. 
No. Let's go piss off a wizard. And Evite is going to pull everybody into a really a, a big group hug. Oh, ah, my spine! Oh, this feels wrong. What is what's going on? All right. Yeah. Rander's like, okay, I'm actually fucking huge, so. Yeah. Great. Right. Rander's used to her. Yeah, I'm patting everyone's heads. Every mission's an assassination mission if you have the right attitude. Exactly. You don't have to ask Randir twice to fuck shit up. <laughs> right. Well, it will be uh, another hour or so before everyone is positioned. So, ready yourselves. Steal your minds. Check your potions and spells. <laughs> and good luck. So, before we shift into Turbo, what does everyone wish to do to prepare themselves? Hmm. I've already checked my spells. Which, I had one that would have been great, but for some reason I didn't prepare it. It was just sitting there. You can shit, like, you can prepare it. You can. Oh, you no, had... I did. No, oh, okay. I did. I'm saying early, like, when I went just from, I didn't realize that I didn't prepare it. Okay. So I was sitting there, I was like, you got 10 out of 11 spells prepared. I was like, oh. Yeah, I would have, you could have just popped in that one. Oh, no, um, I just saw it. Yeah. Gotcha. Yes, <laughs> okay. All right, well, uh, anybody else want to do anything prep-wise before... We shift into narration. Uh, um, okay. I'll give uh, Ophelia a, a potion of greater healing. Ooh. Thank you. Here's Do each of you take a superior? Yeah. Okay. Vrithil will pull Avit to like a quiet corner and kind of gesture to like sit on the floor and just say I want to try something and he's going to sit cross-legged uh, and close his eyes and start to kind of pray I guess sort of and say Ooh. like a oh facetious please I did I say it wrong I, I tried to look I can't remember the pronunciation that was the best pronunciation I've ever heard of it. So no, I, shit. It's Ophucus, but Ophucus? I love what you said so much. Ophacetious? Ah, close enough. Ophacetious! You are so facetious. That's not how it's spelled at all. I'm going to say, uh, Ophucus, guide us, and if either of us should fall, please accept us into your Warm embrace. Oh, so warm. <laughs> Snakes are famous the cold blooded, but okay. <laughs> I would like the both of you Ooh. to roll religion checks. Fuck. Sucks. Twelve. <laughs> oh, seventeen. Just needed to beat a 10. Good. <laughs> so the, you two, excuse me, take this moment. As you take a deep breath on your exhale, you both feel a cold breath leave. And you see the room goes dark. Your friends are gone. You are still where you were. Uh, uh. Footsteps on the stairs. Gentle, but purposely making creaking. As you watch as a person begins to step into the dim light, you see behind them is a ray of what looks to be like 
bright moonlight of some sort, cascading, making a shadow into the room from them as they stand at the doorway, the edge of the stairs. Hello, my children. You hear a mix of both feminine and male voices in this being of undetermined gender fluidity. You see a person, a being familiar to you both, if facial features at least, if not a combined feature. You see as these sharp, delicate, and also strong at the same time features, if not more serpentine at certain angles as they as the moonlight catches. It's almost like you're looking at one of those like little like pictures when you like turn at certain angles, it mm. shifts when you do it in the light. Every time they move, you watch as if like the light shifts and so does their feature from male, woman, snake, androgynous, just a mixture of all of the forms. My children. Children of the scales. You watch as they like kind of step closer to you. Both caresses Rithil and Avit. How much death you know, and how much more you invite. Are you ready for this next phase? My hunter and my hammer go forth. Smash them. Put an end to this. Bring my end to this. And I am sorry. I fear not all of you will make it out of this. What do you know? All comes to an end eventually. Friend and foe alike. Especially men. You will lose a friend. And you will lose a foe. And I am sorry for your loss. And I am sorry for your gain. Do you mean Belmont? The voice goes silent. The face revealing nothing. Do not falter. bring about this end. They turn and begin to return back up the stairs as the last visage of their foot goes up towards the light returns. The sound of your friends you see Randier and Ophelia arguing with each other over the last piece of French toast. You can have mine. <laughs> the professor is already taken. He's like, actually, I'm a growing boy. <laughs> I'm going to look at Rithil 
and she just looks irritated. Be a lot easier to do what's being asked of us if we had some clear fucking answers. Maybe our ears were just not ready to listen entirely. Speak for yourself. I'm tired of being kept in the proverbial dark and literal dark at times. Couldn't take a spear through the chest to be dealt with silence. Let's go uh, fuck shit up. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what that was about, but all right then. Uh, good luck, my friends. I'll be here on upon your return. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, send me a sign, I guess. A signal of some sort. It'll be like the bat symbol, but it'll be uh, a cane in the Ooh. sky. Ha! Ah! And he holds up his. <laughs> Go fuck yourself! <laughs> I'll hold up my bracelet. I'll say, when I'm within about approximately uh, 120 feet. Ah, the whisper bats! Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, both of you have yeah. them still. <laughs> All right. So, the professor stays behind. The four of you are met by a few people you don't recognize. You do recognize uh, Evite One. Uh, what was her name? Cora? Nope. Cora. Tora. Tora. Tora, thank you. I knew it started with a T. Tora is there. Uh, she stands there cloaked with other cloaked individuals as well. I'm gonna Hello, my friend. With the head. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. You asked for it. One of you can take it and I'll just I it. don't. That's evidence. Then get rid of it. You could have left it in the hideout. That's no fun. That oh, okay. Fun. You wanted proof, I assumed. Fine, well, give it to me. And she just like stuffs it under. Are you ready? It's just Are the four ready? of you. <laughs> hey, small groups get in easier, I guess. Um, the four of us took down Viserion, and I'm sure we can do this. Yes. Rose! All right. Follow behind us, but keep some distance so as to not bring attention. We are going to... We're going to be attending a, uh, a sermon today. But there's no voice to give the sermon. So this will be an interesting uh, mass. I would like to see what they brought. Uh, I actually did not care for her rhymes. They are quite annoying. They catch, they, they stay in their head like jingles. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go. The five of them, in their insurgent fa uh, fashion, wander through the city with you in tow as you guys take back alleys and they signal to you gesturing when it is safe to come you have to stop points as you see strom troopers <laughs> <laughs> hey it's fun to call them what they are <laughs> uh as they are clad in that black plate mail uh halberd and shield combination as they cross through in a parade like fashion it seems there is some Thing going on in the city something has got everyone up and about I wonder, what? I wonder what continue find your way towards the northeastern edge of the city and passing by you do see that they're in the same kind of fashion as the vatican a giant space is uh, filled with many people as you see uh, the crumbled tower of the voice and standing before it on its like steps kind of like uh like at the um what is it? 
oh god the lincoln memorial the steps that lead up to that temple like building that temple area is completely crushed and it's just the steps with the rubble behind it there stands at a podium you see uh a person you've not seen before i don't believe any of you not even ophelia well ophelia make a history check for me i wonder what happened here Cool. I must get the name of your decorator. <laughs> oh, Philly, are you are muted. 17 plus 6. 17 Ooh. plus 6. Damn! You recognize this figure. Uh, he's not been in the public eye for quite some time. He's been on campaign uh, defending uh, Tiestrom's uh, war efforts and leading the army this is uh this is general ornaxis ah general ornaxis uh, ornaxis but ornaxis no it's ornaxis ornaxis he is uh or asses he is that guy he's standing at a podium with the rubble behind him hands on either side speaking to the crowd Hello, citizens of Tearstrom. Those of you gathered here on this sorrowful mass to the scaled queen. It is a sad day for us all here in her blessed city. As someone has dealt us a mighty blow. They have cut out our voice, my children, in the aim to silence us. They fear our freedom. They fear our power. They fear what we stand for. They wish to take this away from us. As you can see in this destruction before you, how they accosted your sheriff as he gestures towards the two brothers separated. Terra and Sidus. And now they come into our homes, laying their filthy ideals at our feet in the hopes of turning us against one another. But I tell you this... Theostromans. Theostrom was not built in a day, and it will not fall in one day either. We will persevere against this attack. We will stand triumphant in our conquest of the West, as the human kingdoms of the Altitian Empire will know what it is to feel a retribution. And upon this call of retribution, you do hear within the crowd a lot of people here cheering in agreement. You see a lot of people angry and upset at the destruction of the tower. But you also see others who are not what you came with specifically. You see your friends and cloaks begin to disperse amongst the crowd. You watch as Tora before she leaves your side. Levi, she goes. May the guiding light of Draco be over you and your friends. You too. If we do not see each other again, it was an honor to survive. by you. Good luck. The she hood up gets to step into the crowd. Ornaxus continues on his speech. Just more and more hate speech and just more riling the crowd. And you watch as the five members of the Divergency disperse in a star-like uh, split pattern. Tora goes and stands in the middle of this crowd and calls out 
And what if we do not wish to serve a tyrant? What if we wish to speak for ourselves and not have others speak on our behalf? And she holds the head of Viserion high. Do you wish to silence me as well, General? Let's go. Literally mic dropping the head of Viserion. Oh, probably splat. And then you hear her call out in Draconic, if you're those you can understand, in a loud, barking-like, uh, guttural uh, shout. She yells, NOW! And you see as the other in two and two start to perform that same, like, traditional dance of like that kind of New Zealand haka style as they begin to stomp and chant and you begin to watch as they each draw in around them different elements one draws upon rock one draws upon fire they all draw upon the actual the natural elements and in harnessing it they take these crystals that form in their hand shove them into their chest and you watch as their forms One of them shifts into a hulking rock-like behemoth. <clears throat> One, the form begins to dissipate into a gaseous-like vapor. As they begin to whirl into a, a twister-like form, another one <clears throat> bursts into flame as he begins to hover with the jets fueling his fire. And finally... You watch as another one begins to <laughs> fall to the ground in a puddle of water that begins to spread and spread and spread as it then falls in the ground again. <laughs> a tidal wave breaks the crowd. This is your moment. What do you do? Fucking run for it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You take... Yeah. You all take this moment of distraction as your allies, the sons of Draco, of the Dr Draconian Divergency, give you the distraction that you need as you all bolt towards the Architect's Domain. And that is where we're going to go ahead and call it for this evening. Guys, I would like to thank you guys all for following us. Uh, it's a little bit of a later one for the... Uh, <laughs> For the Altera crew. Uh, I would like to thank my players, the lovely Eloise, the sensational Sabrina, the courageous Cody, and the beautiful Benjamin. <laughs> Guys, make sure to follow us on Sunday for our Andrew campaign, 7 Central Time. Also, make sure to follow us on our podcast, uh, Horizon Red. For more information, horizonredpodcast.com. Uh, new episodes every 1st and 15th of the month, pending uh, life getting in the way. And catch us again next Thursday for the penultimate uh, session of the mini arc. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys for following along. Have a wonderful night, guys. Links below. Links below. Links below. <laughs>